Yo, what is up? It's that time, it's that hour, it's Righteous with another video. Alright, so I wanted to hit you guys with a new um, segment. It's going to be called B-Ball Quick Hitters. Uh, and the first um, subject I'm going to be talking about is uh, Shaquille O'Neal saying in a podcast to Tom Brady that at one point in 2002, he was listed as at 325 pounds, but he really was weighing 415 pounds, making him the heaviest basketball player of all time. What do you guys think of that? And do you believe it? Do you really feel like he was 415 pounds? I think he was probably up there. Um, I know that a lot of things aren't always listed correctly. I know that uh, Allen Iverson has uh, brought up that he's not really six feet, and they always lit listed him as six feet. I think there's a couple players out there that aren't really 6'3 or 6'4, and they're listed as whatever. Um, it happens all the time. And they even added an inch or took away an inch a couple years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think that's possible that uh, a basketball player could be that heavy and be that dominant? Or do you think uh, it's just Shaq being Capiano, Mr. Cap, King Cap, or Cap? Anyway, we're going to go to the next one. James Harden going to the Clippers. So accordingly to the ESPN analytics, the Clippers now have the best chance to win the Western Conference at 22% following the Harden trade. Do you think that makes sense to you? Well, I'm going to answer my part and then you guys can answer in the comments. Um, I think on paper, it's not that close to the other guys, uh, the Lakers, uh, Golden State, the Nuggets, um, the Suns. Uh, there's a lot of teams out there, especially the Nuggets, man. Like, I don't even see anybody doing that much better than the Joker or even um, Luka and them. I want to see how, how Luka faces these guys, but... Anyway, though, this team is a little more stacked, that's true. Um, the lineup looks a little iffy, but they're going to have to figure it out. I don't like the combo of uh, James Harden and um, Westbrook. Um, I never really liked them when they were in Houston. And it, it, it Westbrook is a weird kind of character, you know what I'm saying? He's uh, He needs to work on his catch and shoot. His percentages has gone up since he's gone to the Clippers. But I do not like him as a point guard, and neither do I like James Harden as a point guard. I think that uh, they're masquerading, and, and I don't think it's going to work. Um, but I would like to see uh, what they can do. I always like Paul George's game. I think his defense is really good. Um, and then you got Kawhi, who sometimes can't play a full 82 season, or maybe all the time he can't play a full 82 season. That man's been like that forever. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work, and I'm not sure if they are – really can be put as a um, contender but on paper I could see that um, and then there was a joke uh, um, ball players shout out to ball players uh, the Clippers got James Harden for a new iPhone and two gallons of gas <laughs> oh my gosh so what do you guys think do you think uh, James Harden has a chance to make it uh, to you know get another run at the at the finals I think he got one uh, versus the Heat um, and he got really close when he was in Houston and he had to face the Warriors. So that's it. I'm going to make this one short and the rest of these are going to be short. So leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.